Yo, yo, welcome back to the Marketing with Andrew YouTube channel. And today I am back with my second video on the channel. This is one that is super valuable. Lots of good questions were coming in. Great advice was given. Get your notepad and pen out or your Word document on your phone or your notes app on the phone because there is so much value in this episode. So please give the video a like, comment down below and subscribe to Marketing with Andrew because there'll be more of this content coming your way. So until next time, I'm going to sip my coffee and have a great day. Happy Monday. Welcome to the live Q&A where you can ask me any question and I'll answer them. Today, um, after a long night, um, the last two days I have been sick. You might hear it on my voice. And so, uh, yeah, the last two days has been kind of um, uh, detrimental to my body and my sleep. But that's all right. You live and I don't know, you live and you learn. Um, either way... <clears throat> Today, we're going to have a, a fantastic one because last week uh, we had a beautiful channel member uh, or a beautiful member. I, I'm just, I hope that people can get in because I see that some people, they might click on the calendar and then it's a wrong, um, wrong link here. And so I hope that everybody understands that we have the correct link. I did a post on it in school. So anyways, <clears throat> oh no, get better, Andy. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Um, drinking some, yeah, the best thing for the throat is some coffee. Mm. I should make some chamomile tea or something. It seems like there's two other people that uh, are trying to get in. I, I think I'm just, uh, how can I change this? My bad, guys. Just give me one moment. I'm I'm gonna change the link in the Q and A live on the on the uh, school platform. Uh, da -da -da. one moment, guys. I will keep you entertained. Don't you worry. Here we go. I changed the link now and hopefully hot water with cinnamon and honey oh i actually got that too yep i'm gonna make that later okay i updated the link hopefully it's gonna be better and people will be able to join all right uh let's get into the today's topic uh, we had the uh, pleasure of Kath last week going into tags. And I feel like it's a good time for me to talk a little bit more about tags and our principles around tags. What uh, role do they play? And also when we talk about tags, it's important that we talk about keywords as well. So we're going to go into that right now. And I'm going to share my... Uh, two, there's two ways to look at it, and I want to draw it out like I do normally <clears throat> to give you guys the best understanding. Ooh, ooh. And then later in this video, we're also going to watch some other successful YouTube channel. We're going to take some of their tips, and then hopefully you can replicate that onto your channel as well. Uh, I found some amazing channels that we're going to go through, and then we're going to learn some from them as well. So I hope you're excited to stick with me here. Um, so we're talking about tags, right? Tags. Now, <clears throat> personally, the in a nutshell, tags are not important much at all. Spend the same amount that you would use on tags on your title and your thumbnail, and you're going to get way more results from that. However, what tags are good at is changing your title based around a tag or a keyword that is a good keyword, all right? 
So I'm going to show you an example right here that um, I did. And I'm going to show you how tags and keywords influences my titling process. So first thing to note is tags are not very important as, you know, like tags below the video. So you, you, when you click on the description and everything, you just click on, I can show you right now. Uh, so this is one of my channels, Metaverse Investor. And uh, this one is making 5K a month right now. Uh, with AdSense, it's not making that much, but we have the sponsor and affiliate marketing system in the back end, which is really great. It's getting around uh, 130,000 views per month, which is great. Now, um, what I wanted to show you here is Metaverse Investor uh, tags here. So what I tell my manager is search for the keyword that you're trying to rank for or search for the title that you're trying to make the video about, then find the most popular video. Okay, so um, I actually did change this ar already. Hey, Lewis is on. Lewis found the link. That is great. I hope that everybody was able to find the link and they're able to get on. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, Lewis. Um, so tags are not very important as a description and tags component, all right? So when I go down here and I fill out all these things here, you know, a lot of people would say like, oh, let's, or I don't think a lot of people say this anymore because it's a known thing now, but spend a lot of times here making the perfect and making it extremely nice. What I would do is just go search your title into the thumb, uh, into the header. So nine NFT projects that will explode. Then go to one of the most popular here. So this one is good, but I would like to have this one with 180 one K views, then you have a tool like social blade to buddy vid IQ doesn't matter. And then you basically just copy these here, right here. Then you paste it into the tags. So right here, paste it into the tags. And that is one of the best ways to go about it. Now, when we were making this title here, so here you can see, this is extremely quick, right? Like this takes no time and it's just literally um, super easy. The next step you can take it is just delete the things that aren't that uh, like, uh, delete the things that aren't that relevant and then add some of your own, right? But where tags actually help is doing the keyword research for the title all right so the title that we had before is um insane insane seven insane six oh here so there we go seven insane in projects um uh, in 2022, for example. So we utilize this uh, here. Hey, Epic, everybody's finding the link now, which is super cool. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So we can utilize the tags to find the best keyword. So if we go here and if we take the title NFT projects, so NFT projects, if I put that in here, NFT projects, I can double click the NFT projects. <clears throat> what will happen then is that we get the keyword uh, tool off. And then I saw that this here, so if we call it NFT projects, that will explode, or it was a different title in 2022. Um, we checked it out with the NFT project that will explode. So when we click on this one, we see that the overall score of this one is excellent. So great search volume. Competition is like very good. Uh, optimization strength is very good as well. Or it's excellent, actually. And then 
if we go back here. So there we learned, okay, that might be a better title. You know, if you're writing titles off the top of your head, sometimes it might be good to swoop into a keyword that is getting good engagement. Also, if you see the NFT projects 2022, you can also see that this is excellent. And here is where you go into like, where the waste of time in tags go. Some say that, you know, find the ones that have super low, uh, super low competition with extremely high search volume, but the the tools aren't really, uh, the tools aren't really, what am I trying to say here? It's just not worth the effort to go extremely deep and extremely thoroughly through every tag and, and then ranking them out after, uh, you know, specific components. Um, however, the point is, it's good to uh, help you in the title creation. Does that make sense? So if you try to make up your own title, you know, try to see that is there a keyword that I can tap into and are there all the keywords that I can also tap into to potentially give myself more views. And on top of that, um, think about is one of these keywords in the title the exact word match? That's also something that could be easily implemented. For example, uh, Utility NFT Projects 2022, a video that is called this exact keyword but switched around could also become good. Literally all they care about, and this is why tags are so not important, is they care about if people click it and watch it. And that's why we have the click-through rate and the watch time being our main contributing factors to the success of our channel. So if you're doing the piggyback strategy where you're looking at other uh, videos that is in your niche and that you're piggyback off, piggybacking off of, uh, that is a good uh, start. And I honestly think that's um, one of the best strategies. Don't pay that much attention to tags. However, you know, the title giving you um, or tags can help you make a better title. All right. Do you guys have any questions about tags specifically? You guys don't have any tags specifically, then it's all good. All right, so the next question or the next segment here <laughs> um, up my apology for my voice being horrible at the moment is one thing that uh, came up last week is uh, like I told you guys, my girlfriend, she now started a new channel or she took over one of my channels and is starting to do YouTube automation herself. And because of this, I'm learning a lot, seeing what she's going through and everything like that. One of the things that came up was she um, asked me, and it's so funny the, the questions that she asked me because it's like so normal to me and it's so common sense to me, but to her, it, it, she never learned it. So I'm like, oh, that's awesome that you have that question. So one of her videos last week became a 10 out of 10. So she published a video and it was the least out of the last 10 that she published. And I was, and then she asked me, should I change the title and the thumbnail on it? And I'm like, yes, absolutely you should. And that leaves me to tell this to you guys, like if you are checking up on your analytics and there's many components to this, which is so cool. And that is, if you get a 10 out of 10, see the title and see what about the title did I write 
that is not enticing my audience. If the title is a 10 out of 10, that probably means that your subscribers, when they looked at it, they just thought, oh, I'm not interested. So the more of these things that you can put into your brain, the more of these keywords, the more of these like title sentences that you can put into your brain that you know that they like, that they don't like, the better it's going to be. This also comes back to the feedback mechanism. That is, you post a video and then you see, does it perform? Yes, no. Why did it perform? Why didn't it perform? So here, just an easy example. If you talk about Elon Musk and a lot of people are interested, that's good. You take that piece of information and put it in your brain. If you talk about um, whoever else, Jeff Bezos, let's say Jeff Bezos, people are not interested, then you learn that piece of information and then you put it into your brain. And every time that you publish, to be there at the specific moment of uploading and like the last, the first hour of uploading and within the next, you know, the first hour of uploading basically is extremely beneficial as you will get direct feedback to that you can learn from and iterate. So when she told me, hey, this is 10 out of 10, should I change it? I'm like, oh yeah, can I see the title? And then... I was looking at the title and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is not such a good title. And then I was like, and it's also missing this keyword that is important that you have in this. You know, if this was investing niche, it would be like market is crashing or <laughs> China is taking over or lose. Uh, if it's a weight loss, it's, um, you know, lose weight. If you don't have the keywords, lose weight or bigger muscles, then it's not going to perform because they don't want to click it because that's what the, that's the outcome they want. So um, after learning or after checking through her, her title, I saw, oh, it's missing that keyword that is extremely important for your, for your niche. And then we changed the title. And then on top of that, the thumbnail was missing the same keyword that was very important that she had in there. And just because of that, we changed the, thumbnail as well with the text and just like that we managed to get it from a 10 out of 10 up to a 6 out of 10 and then it became a 5 out of 10 so that's a pretty good achievement and all we did to change was a little bit of changing the title a little bit of changing the thumbnail and that's about it so that's a tip that I want to give you. If you see your analytics and if you see that it's getting a 10 out of 10, there is nothing wrong about changing the title of it and changing the thumbnail of it. That can be extremely beneficial for y'all. <clears throat> now, as we're talking about thumbnails, I also want to uh, get a principle in here that is extremely important. And that is don't have too many words in the text. And I'm going to show you some good examples here of, two, of little text, okay? So I want you to look for, when you have your niche, right? You all have your niche. Look for three-word sentences, okay? It could be some of the most powerful sentences in the world, specifically for your niche. These three-word sentences or even two-word sentences, I don't know, <laughs> two words, could be more, could be way more uh, beneficial to you than having like five words in the title or six or seven words. Never have six or seven words in the title or the thumbnail, I mean. And I want to show you some examples of how can you utilize this and how can you, you know, improve and, and, and get better thumbnails and everything, so specifically for the text. And if you see the, uh, your thumbnail writer write five or six or seven words, tell him, hey, uh, change the text to these three words. So uh, one of my favorite, um, or he's sort of like a mentor to me, Alex Hormozzi. You guys know him. You guys love him. 
the hundred million dollars, the hundred million dollar man. Um, you can see here in the top here that he has cut them out. Three power words. Yes, I follow it. him too. Yeah, intense. Exactly, right? Cut them out. Do this now. Get views today. Grow your channel. You know, things like this are very powerful. So powerful, you don't, you know, can only, you know, two words, three words that are insane. So uh, I'm just going to look through my subscription feed and that's how we're going to do it. Actually, I'm going to go through, now we can go through this account. So that's fine. And I want you to look for these popular uh, YouTubers. For example, Graham, we're going to go through Graham. The, this is the homepage of YouTube, right? So everybody of you, you want to come on the homepage of YouTube. Now we can see from the stats and analytics here that this is what they're showing us, right? So there's a lot of things that we can learn from the homepage of YouTube. For you guys, I recommend going into your YouTube account, subscribing to only people in your niche, and then you'll find actually videos that on the homepage that people actually want to watch in your niche, right? Another great thumbnail here. That takes... So 25 years old, 24 years old, billionaires. He, he doesn't say like, uh, if we would have four words or five words, it would be these teens or, you know, these influencers are becoming billionaires. Five words. You don't have to say that. You can have it in this context instead, right? Here you can see that um, Alex Becker, big fan of Alex Becker. However, he uses the old type of strategy here. Do this for three hours or die poor. I wouldn't recommend, this is kind of what we're trying to stay away from now. Alex can do it because literally Alex is a genius, like a, like a internet marketing god of some sort. He's like the Elon Musk of the internet uh, marketing space. And you know, Elon Musk can tweet out a po poop emoji and get millions of likes on it. Okay, I'm, we're just going to go through, like bang through a couple of these thumbnails, right? So here, he tried to set me up, right? It's taking over crypto. So that's four words. Ethereum event now. 10 mil in one year. Mr. Beast, just the name of the guy. Oops. Can he really fight? YouTube algorithm, powerful word. 28 rules. Day 97 for Mr. Beast being like one of the best YouTubers alive. You can see that he never has any text like that. You know, like we stayed in a house for 58 days. <laughs> you know, he would never do anything like that. I would love to see, I would love to make this uh, here a uh, thumbnail actually. Like, um, I made a faceless YouTube channel in 100 days. And then have me kind of like this. That would be fun. Uh, let's see. Artist VS algorithm. All right. I hope you guys can, can start understanding this. You see this one as well. Just don't upload. <laughs> Amazing. You can see this one. It's a little bit too long. Is it just me or or do I just not read the, the thumbnail text anymore? I'm like, there's too much text there. I don't want to read it. You know, when he has all of this yellow, I'm like, uh, probably seen it. Before. It's the same as everything else. Here, why Twitch sucks. Here, step by step, 
That's the only text that's on here. Two hundred and sixty k in twenty four hours. All right, so I'm just that's the principle that I want to want to show you guys that this is exactly what people are uh, proven to click on: less words, uh, having like a nice picture with less text. Another thing that I actually wanted to give you guys a tip on is you can actually have other people's tweet here as well. So for anybody that's in investing or um, any like celebrity uh, or I mean, even in health, you could probably do this, right? You can have a person's tweet in the thumbnail itself. And this is something that uh, I really wanted to test to see if it works for me. Um, but uh, I can't. All right. So hopefully you got a little introduction on the thumbnail text here. That's a good idea, right? Awesome. Now, uh, I wanted to step into the second thing that we wanted to talk uh, or wanted to do today. Or this is the third thing. Yeah. So I wanted to introduce one of the things, which is like learn from the masters. And so I have a document and I'm not sure if this is going to be a recurring segment or not, um, but I have faceless YouTube channels like facials youtube niches that i found and that i find interesting and i see them and i'm like oh they are having x amount of subscribers per month they're getting thousands of views per week so i am gonna save it so in the future if i want to start a youtube channel in that niche i have an example channel right so i wanted to go through some of them and just i don't know explore them look at them what are they doing well? What are they not doing so well? And hopefully you can learn from that as well. These are not in a particular niche. Like we're going to go through multiple niches here. And one thing that is important for me to uh, tell you guys is that you don't get niche insecurity, which is sometimes that people are going to be like, oh, I, I am in the wrong niche. I need to change my niche right now. That's not what we're trying to do here. We are trying to learn from these people to see if there's anything to learn from it. <clears throat> so <coughs> oof. The, uh, this here I found last week, and I found it in the YouTube drama niche. Pretty cool, right? So you can see here that this niche is in, and first of all, they're getting 100,000 or 1 million views the last 30 days, which is really cool. So you can see here that they're particularly going hard into uh, YouTube celebrities, Twitch celebrities, and things like that. So one of them is Aiden Ross. Now, I don't know if you guys follow YouTube drama or anything like that. But we can learn learn from this. Aiden Ross, Nadia, Kyle Forjard. You can see here, Pammy Baby. <laughs> Who is this? No idea. Kyle Forjard, which again, you can see that they're using these famous people's names in the beginning of their videos. So here you even have one that literally got 100,000 views, which, which is what I would piggyback off of. And also this. Now, obviously, this is sort of news type, which means that there is no like one size fits all when it comes to piggyback strategies. Your success will come from actually finding the drama and looking for, I bet people on Twitter, I bet people on in this niche here specifically, they just go through Twitter and look at like drama YouTubers and, and things like that. And they look at, hey, what is drama right now? And then they talk about that. So, and on top of that, 
it's pretty amazing that they're using clips. They're using clips from, you know, other people's videos. And so I want to look at what can we learn from this? Is there anything to take from it when we watch the video itself? And so we're going to look through this one, 200,000 views, 100,000 views, and then 72,000 views. <clears throat> So let's look through this. Something that has been causing a lot of controversy. Wow. That sounds like a familiar voiceover. It sounds like somebody that I know. Um, so here you can see Nadia finally gets banned after she gets caught cheating live. She cried. So let's see on this intro if there's something that we can learn from this. Something that has been causing a lot. Wait, can you guys hear me? Uh, yeah, you can hear the sound, right? A lot of controversy lately. Let's go to the beginning again. Something that has been causing a lot of controversy lately is Nadia's blatant cheating on Call of Duty Warzone, which in a clip will shortly show. She even admits to having wall hacks and tells her team that she's playing with that she can see the entire map. This has caused an uproar in the Call of Duty community and fans are asking for Activision to take some action by banning her. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video so that way you don't... Wow. That's pretty amazing. A really simple intro too. <clears throat> um... The script that they're following is really like, it's really like a kind of, and and uh, we can fit this back to like the perfect video script, which, you know, we, we start off with proof, right? We always want to start off with proof or visual evidence. And so um, you can see that she, he starts off by showing her cheating. She's playing the game and she's cheating. And so you can see that um, I think, I, I don't know if they had the even better proof, it would be like, oh, the, you know, the screen is, you can see people through walls, right? Or you can see, you know, some statistics over their head or maybe something like that. But they show the proof and they talk about what is the interesting thing, right? But it's interesting to see how they end it, which is... Um, the worst pain ever, which is to get banned, right? So let's see what they ended the intro with. Take some action by banning her. So be sure to... So they took some action by banning her. So here you see that this had major consequences. And at this point, hopefully you're hooked. Stick around to the end of the video. So that way you don't miss out on any key information. Welcome back. To so I don't like this long... Call to action. To love too. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and switch on the note. Yeah, I think this is lame. Notification bell to receive updates on new celebrity videos. Let's jump right in. But you know, even if you have all of this, so what I would do is you can have this, but have it be less, less time. But you could see the call to actions that he actually did was subscribe to the channel and also stay to the end. Some of you guys don't have this call to action, which is extremely important. And that is stay to the end because... You don't want to miss out on this thing, right? So uh, asking them to stay to the end is one of the best call to actions that you can do. Uh, but asking them to subscribe and comment and liking and sharing and all that, not worth it. Just spend less time on, on it. Get into the video. All right, let's go into the video itself. And find out Nadia's response to all these cheating claims. And if she does finally come clean about it all, Nadia backstory. A lot of you guys watching the video may not even know who Nadia is, as it's. So here he actually starts with an inclusion script, which is, if you have, if you don't know, then here's what you need to know. It's a completely different topic and audience from the usual videos, so we'll do a quick breakdown. Towards the start of 2022, Nadia actually made a submission video to Faith. And this is actually a really good principle that I want you guys to also think about that every single video that you post should be applicable to anybody. So when I was making Andy FL YouTube videos, I was literally saying like YouTube ad revenue. Uh, so for example, if I had a YouTube ads, uh, you know, a YouTube heavy audience, which my audience pretty much was, right? 
I could have just said, you will make ad revenue. And, and that's fine and all, but I was thinking I'm talking about the entire audience, like anybody that's never watched any YouTube video any, ever before, he doesn't know the word ad revenue. So what I would have to say every time I said ad revenue is, you know, the ads before the video starts, right? The skippable ads. And then they're like, oh, okay, I know that. And so I had to explain a lot of the words that I was talking about. And you can see here that he starts by explaining who she is. And this is really great to get everybody on the same point. So every time that you might say a word, which is a doll, uh, in, in investing nature would be like dollar cost average into the S&P 500. If you uh, say those words, it's also important to be inclusive in it. So you don't, um, you know, you don't limit the amount of reach that is possible to do with a video um, just by using words that they don't understand. So, and talking about things they don't understand. So here you can see him using that perfectly here, talking about who she is and everything like that. Where throughout she states, she wants to break the barrier for female gamers and that she's been gaming all her life. The reason why I want to join FaZe is because... Also, this is amazing that he actually has a clip of the person talking. So anybody that is capable of doing this is... Uh, this is one of the most powerful things. The important part is that it's not too long and also it's early in the video. Um, Patrick saying, sorry, Andy, I have to run to a meeting with a client. You look great and I'm glad you're very healthy. Great video, great tips. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks for hopping by. Enjoy the meeting with a client. Go kill it. So when you can use clips like this, it's usually very powerful. Let's see how they use this clip um, of her now. The barrier for female gamers and that she's been gaming all her life. The reason why I want to join FaZe is because I simply have a strong passion for competing and to entertain. When I was a kid, I, I believe six or seven, I remember watching my cousins play Call of Duty while that were Nazi zombies. I asked my dad for Christmas if he could gift me a Xbox and that game. And when he did, I played it for hours and hours a day. I eventually got into COD 4 multiplayer and World at War, eventually Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and I started to be more interested in multiplayer more than zombies. During this time, I also did wrestling. I only wanted to wrestle boys. I like the fact that they're physically stronger than me. It gave me much more of a challenge, in addition to the doubts people had of me being a female. And I did prove everyone wrong. I won double districts in middle school and I won a state championship. Due to me being a female and a male here you can he see her just talking and uh, it is quite long um they are cutting it up into different sections and that's great if it's like way too long of a clip that it doesn't talk specifically about the things that you need to talk about you can cut it down to make it shorter and to talk about the specific points that you need in order to you know convey your story one other thing that is very important when it comes to using other people's clips is that it's not full screen. So for anybody using clips, it cannot be full screen. So you see here that it has a box around it and then it has an animated loaf. <laughs> funny, some people on YouTube are funny, but a pink background with a floating loaf. <laughs> this is something that we do as well. Every time we want to have some clips and stuff, we make it in a box and then we make some animated background. It doesn't have to be an animated loaf. It can be anything from like story blocks or any type of animated thing in the background. Dominant industry. I incorporated this. I feel like we are going way too slow on this one. So that was the first one. I want to go through a couple of... Um, um, I showed my videographer now and he uses the box with my logo at the top left. Awesome, Granolina. That's cool to see. And that was a tip that we took quite far ago. It's, it's something I mentioned a lot just when using clips. 
Maya was one of the examples I want to go through. So in yesterday's just, you know, giving some more examples. And I want to go through intro specifically because a lot of people have problems with intros. And so that's what we're going to do now. Take a look at this. Streamers react to Nadia being banned. So in yesterday's video, we checked out the controversy around Call of Duty Warzone streamer Nadia and the numerous claims that she uses wall hacks, aim assist, and manages to only get put into negative KD lobbies, which is completely sus behavior. Well, in today's video, we're going to check out some different streamer reactions to Nadia's gameplay and if she should get permanently banned or not. Be sure to stick around. Wow. So here you actually have a fascinating video idea, right? So for you guys, when you're doing like piggyback strategy and stuff like that, you can, you can, you can find this topic here to be a very successful one. Um, it's like a success template for video ideas, which is they react to something. Streamers react to Nadia being banned. So if something happened, you can find people reacting to it and then you can make that into content. So for example, if you have, you know, everybody remembers maybe Will Smith slapping Chris Rock on stage on the Oscars or something like that. Some of the things that people did then in the celebrity channels is, you know, it would be a good uh, title would be celebrities react to Will Smith hitting Chris Rock, slapping Chris Rock. Or here is what Leonardo DiCaprio thinks about this. Things like this always tend to uh, blow up and it's a good video idea. So if you can find topics like this that you can talk about, uh, it's always going to be a super, super uh, popular video. And on top of that, you can see that you can use other people's big names in the title. So Nadia being the main keyword, right? Then you have XQC, which is the most popular streamer on earth. You can put him in the title because he is going to react to it, which probably boosts the views like crazy. Pokimain, which is another, I think, the most popular streamer, the most popular female streamer, and more. So now they really want to see, right? What about Elon Musk reacting to Jeff Bezos' spaceship? You know, it's just inherently interesting. David. That is all right, David. Uh, let me actually just send you a quick link right now. Uh, give me one moment, guys. Uh... <laughs> the more we know what you mean. That's great. Perfect, Patrick uh, or David. I'm sending you a Calendly link now to set it all up. Oh, let's. Okay, that was from that video. I want to go through. I'm going to blast through a couple of more uh, just like fast so we can get some uh, more examples. No, has come out and so here again, Kyle Forjard reacts to Jess Jesse officially leaving Nelk. You have you're stuffing like high, uh, like super popular people into the title. And because of that, it's great. It's now a Let's look at this intro it's here. It's now official. Jesse from Nelk has come out and stated he's leaving the team after a decade working and building up the empire they have today. And we'll be checking out all the information around this as well as fans' reactions to his departure and what it means for Nelk going forward. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. That way you won't miss out on any key information. Welcome back to LoveTube. If you're new to... That was a pretty basic one. Let's go to the next, huh? Uh, let me go to the next channel that I was looking at here. I just want to go through a couple of them at least. So you guys have some examples of some channels that we're looking into and finding some cool ideas from. Uh, 
not this one. Let me see my internet is a little bit slow here. Okay. It's still slow. Come on. I want to show you three YouTube channels that I found that are really cool. And see what we can learn from them. <clears throat> and remember, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the chat. Always happy to answer anything. So. What is going on? There we go. Now you can see. So this channel here was called Leaf of Life. And the interesting thing about it is they're literally talking about healing the planet, right? And this is something that I'm very passionate about. I, um, well, like my overall mission, hopefully after, um, you know, when I get older and stuff like that, it's just reforestation and having reforestation projects and be able to uh, help uh, forests and woods around the world, specifically animals and insects that live in the nature to be able to survive and thrive. Um, and of course, helping the world uh, through that process of reforestation. That's what I want to do in the future. But uh, until then, um, there are many other cool people that do it, which is good. But here you can see that this is also, of course, a huge topic. Like everybody is getting greener when it comes to CO2, gas, and all of those things. Uh, it's important. Uh, it's a it's an important topic specifically right now, and it's probably going to be even more and more uh, important into the future. So let's see the most popular uh, videos here, and I checked through their analytics in the last 30 days they got 750,000 views that is i would say in this it would be probably like two i heard a lot of these like uh eco niches have like high cpm on them so i would think like 5k per month could be pretty doable for this niche uh, just from AdSense. So here we go. The most popular one being how the Sahara Desert is turning into a farmland oasis. Whoa. Free water forever. Hey, we were talking about thumbnail text earlier. That's like one of the craziest thumbnail texts, right? Free water forever. You see also the text they use here? Then, now, then, now, then, now. You know, also before, after, before, after is a good thumbnail text to uh, to use. You can also see that the thumbnails that they're using is literally not green and then green. <laughs> That's pretty much all they're doing. Have a thumbnail with not green on the left and then green on the right. How solar power machines are making free water in the Sahara Desert. Um, by the way, maybe an unrelated question. But how did you get AdSense on YouTube to show up in dollars? Also in some health niches, have you seen the inside body like animations? Is there a place to find them or do I need to get them uh, made from scratch? So two questions here, Patrick. How to get AdSense to show up in dollars? You need to change the currency inside of your settings. So in YouTube settings, go to, um, I think it just says like general settings or something. You can show it in dollars, like US dollars. Um, inside body animations for that is story blocks is a great uh, way to get inside body animations. And I bet you can find it other places as well. But usually they have a lot of these 
inside body animations. Yeah, something like this, right? Muscles, fibers, things like this. So that is that. Thanks for that great question. Um, here we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I think it's just interesting to look at a niche that's doing fantastic right now. And I would love to check out an intro of these ones. So let's take a look. The Sahara is the largest desert in the world, filling nearly all of Northern Africa. It measures approximately 3,000 miles. The Sahara is bordered in the... Very good uh, intro, right? You guys feel like included and uh, getting in on the story. In the west by the Atlantic Ocean, in the north by the Atlas Mountains and the Mediterranean Sea, in the east by the Red Sea, and in the south by the Sahel. <laughs> Here you can see like proof of how big it is and, and things like this, which is awesome. The Sahel forms a transitional zone. Then they will probably lay it up like the problem is it's dry. <laughs> Hey, that's cool and all, but it's dry. Between the Sahara to the north and the belt of the humid savannas to the south. In the semi-arid region of the Sahel, the advancement of the Sahara Desert continues to be a threat due to land management, overgrazing and droughts in the region. It's fast becoming completely desertified. This land loss is a driver of many other problems such as hunger, poverty, unemployment. For Ooh, she's hitting it heavy with the problems here which is super super important like if you guys have scripts where uh sh like don't don't be scared of putting on the on the pain putting on the problems putting on the 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 problems that could arise if they don't do the things that you guys are talking about you know in any of the health things like you know diabetes bro blood problems, cancers, things like that are important words to pull up and trigger emotions in your audience. Um, and of course, helping them after that. And that's what they're talking about here. You know, this uh, Sahara being a desert causes problems like these things here, but here is how we're going to fix it. And that's uh, inherently a very good script as a whole, awesome. you know? Uh, you have a problem and then we're going to solve it. Migration, conflict, as well as an increased risk of extreme weather events. However, the country Niger in the African Sahara region has been making some astonishing agricultural developments, turning large areas suffering from desertification into agricultural fields. In Niger, 5 million hectares of land with over 200 million trees have been restored, with 2.5 million people benefiting from the improved use of land. This transformation can be called a major accomplishment for any country, especially when a country only receives an average of 6.5 inches of rain for a year. In this video, wow. we're going to tell you how and why Niger is turning its deserts into huge farmland. Huge. Great. The Sahara is one of the most extreme. All right, I'm going to do one more channel here before we go. I have some bad news. Yes. I found this one, which was fantastic. Patrick saying, I love those story documentary channels. Exactly. It's like a history channel almost. I found this channel and I was thinking, wow, this is, this is a great one. Let's take a look at it. You can see the amount of views here going wild. Investors are trying to make money by doing the opposite of Jim Cramer. If you want to be a CEO, become an engineer first. How money works. A better investment than a college degree. <laughs> yeah, you guys are subbed to it. That's cool. So I actually never watched this channel before. I just found it. And then I thought, oh, that's it's getting a crazy amount of views. And so, yeah, you can see 3 million views the last 30 days. And so I want to take a look at, is there anything we can learn by this? First of all, you can see that the thumbnails are very bright. So an issue with newer YouTube channels is that the thumbnails are a little bit too dark. So having this thumbnail here, super bright, text super popping. 
and I'm liking it. I want to take a look through nine to uh, uh. Okay, look at this. Porch is a hedge fund that sometimes makes money. Which car? No, sometimes makes cars. How money works. So let's like take a quick look at the intro here and see what we can do to improve our channels. Which car company do you work for? A major one. Here you can see that they actually start by using a movie uh, reference from uh, Fight Club, I believe the movie is. And they still have not talked yet. We're here at the Quail Lodge with the CEO of Porsche Cars. To be the president and CEO of a car. Wait, is it? No, they're okay. It is faceless, right? Who understands this stuff? It makes no. So they're literally clipping up like movie things. Okay, let's go. Let's We're here go. at the Quail Lodge with the CEO of Porsche Cars. To be the president and CEO of a car company like Porsche. Did you ever intend to have this job? Probably not. Oh. So as the CEO of a car company, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> <laughs> Who understands this stuff? It makes no sense. When you think of Porsche, you probably... There, that's the first time the voice actually starts. That's crazy. Very cool. So basically clipping up different movie things and everything into... Let me see if the first video is also the Welcome same. Welcome to Mad Money. Welcome to Kramer. So they actually start with, you know, copyrighted material. Let's take a look at this also. America. Other people want to make friends. I'm just trying to make you some money. Mad Money is a finance television. All right. So starting with a clip and then talking about it. Mission program that has been running for 17 years on CNBC and is hosted by this man, Jim Kramer. Hey, I'm Kramer. Welcome to Mad Money. Welcome to Kramer. Other people want to make friends. I'm just trying to help you make some money. A former Goldman Sachs trader and a hedge fund manager turned. All right. Reality TV star. He was the OG personal finance personality. Kramer has, by all accounts, had a very successful career, according to his own record. Very interesting, isn't it? Using a lot of clips together with your own voice in the beginning. And this is something that I've been uh, looking and seeing. And I definitely believe that for you guys, having some of those clips in the beginning in the intro could be extremely beneficial there. How do they use copyright material like that and not get strikes? Is there a formula for that? Basically, just cutting them very fast, right? So you would cut them. You can see that he cuts from this to this to this to this to this. And with that... Um, it's uh, it's not copyrighted or it is copyrighted but it's under fair use and having it like that makes it um it's not a maximum of seven seconds well basically any clip that is out there uh, could be copyrighted Sorry, even if it's three seconds even if it's five uh, six seven but i want you to think about the purpose of using the clip if the purpose of using the clip benefits the guy that is in the video for example if we're talking about uh, you know jim kramer or you know it doesn't always have to benefit him but most people want exposure most people want them to talk about them so having clips of other people uh in your video usually doesn't do much in in terms of copyright and it's so extremely normal now uh, YouTube is the only platform that really takes copyright serious. Um, but it really is just if you have five to ten clips instead of having just one, you know? So you can see that here. That is Welcome a lot to Mad Money. Ones. Welcome to Kramerica. Other people want to make friends. I'm just trying to make you some money. Mad Money is so here a we go. Second clip, third clip, that has been fourth running clip. For 17 years on CNBC and is hosted by this clip, man, Jim Kramer. Seven, Kramer. six. Welcome to Mad Money. Welcome to Kramer. Other people want to make friends. I'm just trying to help you make some money. A former Seven, Goldman Sachs trader and a hedge fund manager eight, turned reality TV nine. star. Yeah, and cutting in fast and things like that. Also using older clips, uh, using things that aren't Using clips from podcasts or shows that they've been on is very beneficial because um, usually those things doesn't have 
uh, copyright. What does usually have copyright is music videos, um, like sports things that has been broadcasted. That is just like they they kind of claim it right away. But that was the Q and A live for this week. My bad on my voice being a little <clears throat> sick and groungy. Gonna take a little cinnamon honey water to hopefully help me out and stop talking too. <laughs> All right, take off tribe. Peace and love. See you guys next week. And uh, to your channel success. Cheers. <laughs>